Hey everybody, it's me, Peppy, with Peppy's Plants. Uh, all right, so today's focus is going to be on air layering um, these uh, coffee trees. And typically they're grown from seed. Uh, people also grow cuttings. Uh, but I like to uh, experiment. So I, I thought, I've never seen anybody talk about doing an air layer. And uh, I decided to start doing uh, an air layer on this tree about four months ago. And today we're going to unwrap it. Uh, there is another video that I did not long ago that shows you uh, what that looked like and today I expect it to look well a heck of a lot more full and we will be opening it up and planting it and then I'll show you what the uh, I'll show you what the uh, air layer looks like so so this branch that you see here this is the main trunk of the tree this is the entire main branch which is the trunk the trunk is the part that supports all of the lateral branches and the lateral branches are the ones that produce the coffee berries or cherries what I've done here is I've created an air layer and I'm going to unwrap this to show you what I mean and I'll explain it this is about four months as I might have mentioned earlier and a spider just jumped off my hand And that, that there is a beautiful thing. This is now going to make another coffee tree. And traditionally this is done from uh, seeds. So you want to grow another coffee plant, you produce seeds. You propagate seeds. And you've seen some of my videos where we're propagating and planting seeds. And that's the most common way. Another way is to do cuttings. Now on my website I have a whole section on coffee. And I just started a new website called uh, FloridaCoffeeGrowers.com And it's really not ready yet. If you follow that hyperlink, you're just going to end up at my coffee page at Peppy'sPlants.com And you're welcome to go there. That's Peppy'sPlants.com. Just go to the page that says Grow Your Own Coffee. So plant propagation is something I really enjoy and have been doing for many years and always experimenting. So I thought I'd do the air layer because now I can cut this down here and plant it and have a tree that's ready to produce again. This will become, once I cut this, this will become the main branch of this new coffee plant. And when I come back, I'll tell you a little bit more. All right, so this guy here now is going to get cut. And um, what I'll do is I'll, I'll cut him right about here. And then after I do that, I'll plant it. But before I plant it, I'll put it in this bucket that I have over here. I have a bucket right here. And I'll let it sit there for just a little bit. And that's just to kind of rehydrate the roots while, while we're waiting to, uh, to get the soil and plant it. Uh, but one thing that's, that's you know, interesting is some people, when they do air layers, they soak it in water for about an hour. And then they try to get all of the sphagnum off. To me, I don't do it that way, even though some people say it's much better because... Uh, you run less of a risk of having um, too much wetness there in the soil and causing a fungal disease. But honestly, I've done many plants and I've never had that problem. So uh, I'd rather just plant it like this than take the risk of trying to clean off the sphagnum uh, because um, I'm going to do a lot of damage to these beautiful roots that I've waited four months for. So when I come back, I'll, I'll cut this. And Oh, and I, I promised to explain about the, uh, the main trunk. And um, basically the main trunk is the one that supports all the laterals and gives you um, the fruit on the laterals. Now because this is, um, this is asexual propagation, this is done by propagating the exact same plant, we've done a clone. And since this clone is the identical plant from the one that's in the container, we now have all of the same qualities, including the ability for it to produce fruit next season. All right, so now you can see here, I'm gonna pull this up. Okay, so now we have this, which will begin to grow, and this will be the main branch. And you can see here that I cut off the main branch. This will become the new main branch. Anything that comes out from down here, any new suckers or any new growth down here will be removed, 
and we'll focus on letting this guy become the new replacement main trunk for the tree so that the laterals will be the ones next season producing uh, the cherries. This other one in the back isn't quite ready yet. I already opened it. It still needs about another month. And uh, there's one. There's one branch down here growing straight up that will become the new replacement trunk. And we'll do the same and we'll pot this guy up. Now, what I did is I took the branch that came from the tree and I placed it in the water and now this guy right here will be planted to make the new tree and I had tagged it right there today's date coffee arabica and I'll put another tag on there that'll indicate that it was an air layer okay this way when I down the road I'll remember that this is the one that I made the air layer from all right, so I'm going to go pot this guy up, and uh, there are some videos on my website that show you how I've potted up an air layer. Take a look at the one on the um, baobab tree, air layering a baobab tree part two shows how you plant the, uh, the air layer once it's been rooted. Anyway, I hope you uh, enjoyed the video. Check us out at peppiesplants.com, and uh, give us a thumbs up if you, uh, if you feel that you enjoyed the video and you learned something. Okay, thanks again, peppiesplants.com. Go, go, go grow something for God's sake.